Hello everybody and welcome back to another Sneaky Sasquatch video. My name is of course Constantine and in this video we are going to be talking about the Surfshack events because I do want to go through all the events in this video and try to beat them all up and try to show you guys how I usually go about doing it without too much of a hassle. And of course if I go all the way back up here at the surfboard shaper I do have nine points to upgrade here but i haven't really put any of them in our board just yet just because i do want to beat them up without any points at least the first one so let me go to the beginner league here and try to win this one without any upgrades let's see how difficult it is all right so as soon as the level starts simply go up and down a few times to get a little bit of speed and then simply start jumping and i am going to try to land these all properly so that i can get the multiplier that I need. So let's keep at it. There we go. We got 900. I think we need about 2,000 points in order to win this one. And do keep in mind, we have no points at all in our surfboard at the moment. There we go. We got 300 points. 1,600. 1,800. And that's gonna be it. But I think that is actually good enough in order to win. Alright, there we go. And this is how you do it. The first mission has been done. But of course, in order to win the rest of them, you are gonna have to start putting some upgrades into your surfboard, that's for sure. So let me just make my way all the way to our friend here. And let's start getting in some speed, handling, and weight. These are going to be enough to finish up the next rounds. Alright, let's go with the casual league. Now, of course, having those upgrades in our server right now is definitely going to be much, much easier, that's for sure. And we can even start knocking people out. <laughs> there we go. As easy as that. And if you also land it properly, just like that, you can get point multiplier, which is definitely going to make this even easier. Alright, look at that. We got 5,000 points. I didn't really have to go through too many tries here in order to win this. But 5,000 points is definitely enough for us. Alright, and once you're done with that, make your way back at the surfboard again. And of course, we can still put some more points into this for the next round, but I think I'm gonna leave it as this for now. And instead, try to challenge League. Let's see if we can do this one with just the upgrades that we got so far. So again, as soon as the round starts, go up and down a few times to get a little bit more speed. And then simply start doing your jumps. And also, try to point your surfboard up ahead a little bit, just so that it can get away from the wave itself. There you go, buddy. <laughs> I love it when you can, you can actually knock down the people off the sky. That is so good. I mean, just look at this. It is really easy to win these using this simple technique. Once you got yourself enough speed, you don't really have to go up and down a little bit more to get more speed. You'll be done. You'll be all good. And not to mention, if you hit those point multipliers, you're also getting yourself a bonus of speed. So that's definitely going to make it even easier. Alright, and there we have it. 10,000 points. This is definitely going to be enough. As easy as that. Alright, and lastly, in order to beat up the last round there, let's get ourselves all the points in. Let's get ourselves one more weight in, and the rest of them, let's just leave them as they are. Let's not put all the upgrades in, and try to win it just like that. Let's see if it's doable. The great thing about doing this last event here is that you're getting 250 coins every time. So that is actually really, really good. Dude, you gotta move away. There we go. Woo! 
but whenever you're getting it multiplied, it's even better. I mean, look at that. You're getting so many points, it's crazy. Multiplier again. I kind of messed that up. Alright, multiplier. Now, whenever you're landing, try to point your surfboard a few degrees right in order to multiply it, just like that. Doing this will definitely guarantee you a win. And also, when you're jumping, try not to jump straight up, just because if you do that, you are gonna lose a bit of momentum. And you do want to be ahead of the wave. And look at that, 19,000 points is definitely all you need in order to win the last event. Alright, and there you have it. Once you're done with all the events, you are going to be able to now sleep at the Surf Shack. And not only that, but you can also go ahead and fast travel to the Surf Shack, making this even better. Alright everybody, thank you all very much for watching another short Stinky Sasquatch video. I really hope this one helps you up, and also, if you all enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure to hit on that like button down below, as that's definitely going to help the channel quite a lot. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, do consider doing that, as I'm planning to post more Stinky Sasquatch videos in the future. Alright, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!